So we are here just above Found Hope um, at one of our 2021 Meadow Makers sites. It has just been managed most recently as permanent pasture. So our plan was originally to buy just the top section and plant trees on it, uh, but we got here and fell in love with it and were started speaking to people and realising that a meadow would actually sequester as much carbon or possibly more than tree planting. Biodiversity and sequestering of carbon, that's mm. the two critical things. We have quite high phosphate levels and we also have quite high density of perennial weeds, particularly docks. Chemical treatment is not an option here um, and the only other alternative method of removal that has been used so far uh, up until this point is mechanical. We've already worked two or three months digging, lifting the docks manually using one of these <laughs> or a lazy dog. Here we have an example of um, a dock that has been treated by electrical treatment which is a new weed control method which we are trialling on this site. So this is Rootwave Pro. This is being used primarily in the Netherlands for Japanese knotweed and giant hogweed and Himalayan balsam. I'm Trevor Hume and I work for the Herbisher Wildlife Trust. And it's interesting to hear as well that it's being used to uh, treat things like uh, Himalayan balsam and, mm. and Japanese knotweed because that's, mm. that's another issue, particularly on, on the watercourses and on some of our reserves. So uh, and we're always looking for solutions for that. I'm sure our volunteers would be happier not to have to dig up quite so many docks. So for Rootwave, if you wanted to use it, you would need uh, something to, to transport it on um, and you'll need a generator. Uh, which is obviously going to power the whole um, machine and you'll also need a pair of yellow <laughs> dielectric boots as well. Every time you touch that stem it's following the moisture within the weed and it will boil the whole plant inside out from root to stem um, and what you get is a lots of um, cracking and popping of the cells lots of steam this will be about sort of five maybe ten seconds on on a dock and you can actually see the color change of the dock Bit like when you're cooking carrots it goes from orange to bright orange if there's um if there's a, a worm right under this dock you might kill that but actually once once you zap this plant the energy then dissipates uh, back to the treatment return there we've had uh, soil association and ADAS also sort of verify that it's very interesting to see and uh... I look forward to seeing some of the um, some of the studies and investigation work that's going on as well into um, into soil biology and the, the effects it has on the impact it has on on invertebrates. We'll see how it um, you know, how it looks in a months time. See whether you know, the docks have been killed or whether they've just been knocked back. It's a two, three, four, five year project. Mm.